Welcome to Broken Witchcraft. So today we're going to talk about something I'm not a huge fan of doing, but you have to do, and that's preparing your food for long-term storage. Now, to prepare your food, you're, you're protecting it from a lot of things, weather, insects, rodents, children, whatever. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and let's kick this off. So your environment that you keep your food in should be cool, dark, and climate controlled, but we don't always have that luxury. So what we can do is take some steps on our part to protect our food from the bugs and the mice and the moisture and, and all that good stuff. Now most of our food today comes packaged in plastics, foils, and then paper type products. We're gonna focus more on the paper type products today because these are the ones that we wanna transfer the fastest. These are susceptible to humidity, to bugs, and to rodents. Um, I remember finding a bag of flour a couple years ago, I opened it up and there were some bugs in it. It's just, that's what, how, how it got. The bugs got into the house, the bugs got into the flour, the flour was no longer good. So your containers that you have, I'm gonna start with good to best. So the very first container I'm gonna talk about is the easiest is a Ziploc or resealable bag. Now this is 10 pounds of sugar. Now this is protected from moisture to a point, has a moisture barrier, it has the, it's airtight to a point, and so it keep smells in or out and keep rodents away. However, if any of you have ever had a bag that popped, you know, obviously this is not very protected, this can rip really easy, um, but it stores nice because it can, you can flatten it out and store a bunch of these in, um, another container, which is what I recommend. If you do keep it in a Ziploc bag, don't just leave this sitting on your shelf somewhere. Put this in a, a tougher container than this, like something more heavy, dirty, heavy duty plastic, just to protect it. Also it protects it from light because these aren't dark bags, so the light's getting in. Your next container is your harder plastics. Now, whenever you think about your plastic containers, you want to get an airtight seal and you want to make sure it's heavy duty plastic. Now this is like an Amazon brand. Um, it works pretty well. This is 10 pounds of flour. Rodents can chew through this. Uh, bugs, not so much. And this is really good for preventing moisture from getting in. This, if, if I submerge it in water, uh, this will keep moisture off of here for a short period of time, but not forever. So, but if it was just sitting in water, it would protect the stuff that's inside. So if something flooded and this was in there, that's, it's good for that. And your, your plastic containers can vary. Um, and whenever you are looking, make sure it is heavy duty plastic, like these OXO containers. These obviously I got after I got married because I'm, they're fancy. But if you have stuff that comes in plastic, I put it in plastic, two moisture barriers. And then whatever the ingredients are, or whatever the, ever the uh, cooking instructions are, I just don't typically throw them in there and seal it up. That way you know how to prepare what's ever in that container. And you can see what's in there, which is something nice about it. Then you have the Cadillac and that's your jars. Now this jar is this. So this fits two pounds of pasta in here. So it's a little bulkier than this, than this is, um, but this is obviously gonna last a lot longer. There are no rodents chewing through this. There are no um, bugs getting in here. And this thing is typically pretty airtight. So um, it could sit in moisture. If it was sitting like this in water, it's gonna be good. If it was submerged in water, you may run into a problem after a period of time, but these seal up pretty well. And then if you do um, have food in these containers or these plastic containers, a good tip for you is to get that chalkboard paint and spray paint the container. And that way it'll keep it, the food in a dark place. You can't see what's in there, so you just gotta write on the side of what it is. And that way it's protecting that food from all those other things that are, are trying to destroy your um, food stores. Now if you, I, I get it, all this stuff costs money, um, but if you already spent a bunch of money on your food storages or your emergency food, you definitely don't want it to go to waste. None of this stuff is too expensive. It's just, it's just a cost on a cost on a cost but it'll protect your goods for a lot longer period of time than if it's just sitting in these cardboard type containers. So let's have to store your food for even longer and protect it even better from the things that are gonna kill it, the bugs, the, the rodents, and the moisture. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the woods or in the pantry, wherever. <laughs>